combined they've jackpotted eight swimmers. We'll see if they could do it here and help Toronto move into the lead. And that's how big one Maybe event can be, Roddy. Back. It is big BJ enough where for Toronto, for they can move from fourth to first right Lisa here Brown in this event if they can get that one two finish with a, a decent sized jackpot yeah in a blink of an eye it certainly can happen bernie and, and in this case it's about two minutes plus with the women's 200 backstroke bratton and and moss are right there in the middle of the pool in lanes number five and six you see moss turn first bratton Always Bonnie comes Moss, off the pace. Brown, she'll have a much better second half. Right kind of well. wants to let her teammate drag well, her out she there, and then it. she'll come back on that second 100. She was third at the 50 at 29.3. Moss was 28.6. So she's flying out there this first 7,500 meters right now. Yeah, an impressive start for a Skurdai in lane number three. Not typically known. I feel like we've seen her a lot in the butterfly, but obviously using those underwater is her advantage. And Skurdai finds herself in the top three halfway through this race. Yeah, but this is exactly, when you when you map it out, this is exactly what Toronto is hoping right now. Use the speed of Moss to get out there. Bratton coming back, kind of dragging off her. And with 75 meters left to go, the red starts to pop up, the jackpot points. It's a perfect scenario right now for Toronto. The only kink in this is Skardai up there kind of hanging with Brad. But it's gonna be Kylie Moss in the lead. She's won this event three times. Actually, Lisa Bratton has been the one that has won this event the most. She's won it six times. Kylie Moss coming up, scoring 34 points in her last match. She's got a chance to get half those points right here in this race, which she can close out this final 200 backstroke. Boy, look at that, Bernie. Moss is looking so good. Skurdai is still in there with Bratton, though. Skurdai trying to spoil the one-two party, but it's gonna be Kylie Moss. Moss getting the win, and Skurdai does wind up second. Bernie Gr Gorbanko actually has the fastest time of the year. Even though the Olympic gold medalist has been pretty solid for Tokyo, and she did win in match number six, that was about a second and a half slower than when Gorbanko won it in match number four. It's gonna be literally a pool that's split because you got Korbenko all the way on the left in lane number one, Ohashi all the way on the right in lane number eight, and Pikram yeah. right there in the middle in five. <laughs> yeah, so your eyes are gonna have to peel all over the pool on this one. And Mary Sophie Harvey, who's pushing the pace early on. Her highest finish is second this season. Yeah, she comes in rated ninth. This, this aggregate rating for this event is about 26,000, so Highly rated event, great deep field here. And all of them come in with little bit different strengths. Well, Mary Sophie Harvey is pushing her strength. She had 32 points she scored for Energy Standard in her last match. And she has over a second lead over Ohashi and Gorbanko. And watch Sydney Pickram start to pick up the pace here. Great breaststroker. She should move into second. Not sure she's going to be able to go by Harvey at this point, but she's also got a great freestyle at the end. Here she comes. She just saw Duncan Scott get the win on the men's side in the 200 IM. And this is the battle right now at the top, folks. It is London and Energy, and Pickram now has the lead, but only by one one hundredth of a second. Very close now. Will. Pickram be able to hold off Harvey. Oh, they turn right there together, dead even. Harvey pushed the pace early. Pickram though challenging, but it's too little too late because Harvey gets the win. Her first ever 200 IM victory and energy needed that one. 30 and a half points in their last match. 35 points scored by Atherton. So you could see two really big London scorers trying to maybe capture the lead here in this 50 backstroke, depending on the outcome. Good start in the middle with Toussaint. 
Ingram shoots all the way out on the outside on the left. Down in lane number one for LA, but Mary Sophie Harvey already had an upset before. Can she do it again? Oh, it's no! Will again! Ingrid Will! Oh, yeah! Mary Sophie Harvey in this event. She could have easily swum the 100 backstroke. She had the second fastest time on the relay yesterday next to Moss. But she is solid in this, the 100 IM. She has won this once over her career. She won it back in match number three. Now, Kamitova does have the third fastest time at all the ISL in this event. She won this event in the second playoff match, taking down Beryl Gastadello. But, but the tight, Bernie, if you look at it, only a tenth of a second separates those two times yep. between Kamenova and Mary Sophie Harvey. Look at how tight this field is. Oh, boy. No kidding. Look at this across the board. We don't see this much. You name five swimmers right there that are huge favorites going into this last 25. Kamenova all the way on the left in lane number one trying to get aqua a much needed victory can she hold on indeed she does it the aqua centurions get the win in the 100 im